Hey everyone, this is Max Kane, and I encourage you to reframe what it means to you to celebrate and how you celebrate. Totally reframe that because in modern society, we are taught and we are encouraged to do things that are really not in our best interest and that are absolutely terrible for our health in the name of celebration. So this is how we're taught to celebrate. You know, we go to parties, we consume alcohol, consume drugs, load up with tons of unhealthy food because it tastes good and just totally blow out our pancreas and our kidneys and our digestive tract. And we end up looking like this guy right here. I asked, um, I asked my eight-year-old daughter, Evelyn, to draw a picture of someone that looks unhealthy and someone that looks healthy. And my son, Brilliant, helped her out a little bit and this is what they came up with. You got, this guy's got bloodshot eyes. He's got some discolored teeth with some darkness in there. They said that that was supposed to represent dental decay. And this guy's over here smiling, right? So it is the holiday season, but even after the holiday season is gone, we got birthdays, we got all kinds of religious holidays throughout the year. And what mostly happens in today's world when it's time to celebrate is we kind of just throw our health out the window and start abusing our body, literally abusing our body with all kinds of just terrible things we shouldn't be putting in our body. And we have been taught in our head to associate that that's what it means to have a good time. All right. A lot of the stuff we're going to consume at these parties and celebrations and holidays is going to leave us looking like this dude the next morning and he is not having a good time. So somehow we've been brainwashed into believing that when we look like this, that we're actually supposed to be happy. We have been manipulated, brainwashed, conditioned, advertised to, encouraged, whatever you wanna call it, into believing that when we're, a be you know, bloodshot eyes, we're supposed to be smiling, and this is our idea of having a good time, and I'm here to tell you it's not. Spend just 30 seconds into looking into the future, like that. there was that one story of um, the, the Ebenezer Scrooge, the, uh, um, the, the, the guy who was stingy with all the money, and the, the ghost of Christmas future and past and present all visited him, right? And he was like, looking in the future. What does your future look like? Think about what your future is going to look like down the road, all right, when you're older and you're laid up in the hospital and you can't help your family or help the people that you love because you've totally just destroyed your body's ability to handle tasks physically. This is, this is what the future is going to look like when you continue to celebrate in unhealthy ways and call that celebration. So I want you to reframe what it means to celebrate. All right reframe what it means to celebrate. Now that doesn't mean that you can't never have a good time, right? You're just gonna have a good time, you're gonna have a great time, you're gonna have an amazing time doing things other than putting garbage in your body. And probably where we see this the most in society is through all the just garbage food that comes out during the holidays. So the, one of the best things you can do for yourself and for your family and for your loved ones is to start making just super awesome healthy meals around the holiday times and you don't really have to compromise taste all that much. But in some cases you might have to compromise taste a little bit if you're used to eating just tons of sugar and garbage and um, but you can reframe your taste bu buds, which is the good news. So reframe what it means to celebrate and start engaging in activities and eating foods that are going to end up leaving you like this in years to come. Because when you're old and gray and you're maybe on that hospital bed, we're all going to be there at some point, we're all going to die. And you think, wow, what I wouldn't give 
to have another few days of life, what I wouldn't give to maybe have another 15 minutes of life. You, if you reframe what it means to celebrate, my promise to you is you're gonna have a lot more life, all right? Because a lot of the celebration that's going on that we've been conditioned to believe how we're supposed to celebrate, it is taking years off our life. Reframe what it means to celebrate. Totally reframe it and implement it into your life you will be so much happier that way. And you're gonna turn this guy into non, non bloodshot eyeballs. All right, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, if you found value, subscribe to the channel.